Welcome guys to the video you've all been waiting for. It's finally time for me to show off my level 60B, and here it is. Now this in fact isn't a level 60B, it's an overbred one level 43B. So as you can see, um, since I got my B to level 60, I've been grinding a lot. And it is quite powerful right now. It's about three levels more powerful than a level 60B would be, but it's overbred, so it's way cooler. Um, and today I'm just going to be high scoring um, with the help of one of my fans who has helped me a lot getting my B to level 60 and also when I was getting a dragon badge. Um, so yeah, go make sure to subscribe to him um, because he's really helped a lot. But let's get started. So I think I'll choose daggers because I found out that it's much better for taking care of raiders. And even though you don't do as quite as much damage, it'll still um you can still high score pretty fast. Especially if you have a helper. Which I do. And I could either get the windmill or a fire tower. Both of them um help high scoring a lot. The fire tower, especially since I don't have any things that can take care of ice bosses like super fast. Um, and then the windmill just because you get gold. Um, spikes are also an option. And I think I might go with spikes right now since I'm not trying to like get 3 million or something. Now you may be wondering why have I chosen to spend so much time like leveling up a B? Because they don't seem powerful at all, but they actually are like quite powerful. Right now, my B, when it's at max health, has something like 2200 health, which is pretty crazy. And also, it doesn't really have a weakness to anything besides fire. So, like, it, it's basically a tank, especially when I have the damage reduction saddle on. And it also has an advantage against poison and plant. So, it's not horrible for high scoring. Now, granted, it's not as fast as Fennec Foxes, but the B is pretty cool, and it has a special escape move. Because when they added the Beehive, when you're on the B, and like it gets trapped, and you just use a Beehive, and it will like push you out of being trapped. So it's pretty cool. Also, it has like decent regen, and when I level up more, it's going to get even more powerful. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, the beehive gives food. So, it's the only pet that can, like, just create food out of thin air. Theoretically, I'd never need to harvest food from a bush. <laughs> I, uh, I did not see how much time was left. So I was getting ready to go fight the dragon boss, and when it turns out there was, like, eight seconds left. All right, so it looks like um, I gained some helpers. Um, by the way, um, high scoring goes a lot faster with the B and boars if I have um, cleavers, but like, I didn't want the possibility of dying because of raiders. Bro. Oh yeah, I complain about lag now. They were honestly not very good. <laughs> I got a bunch of helpers now. I mean, I guess that's good, as long as I get everything. My poor boar is getting harassed big time right now. Thankfully, those um icebergs and ice golems seem to have better things to do than just keep targeting them. Bruh. I mean, I guess Light Skull was going to steal a chest anyway, so... Whatever. Alright, so what's this boss going to be? Oh, it's the Dark Trent. Perfect. Oh, I forgot to put on the um, King's Crown. Unlucky. Oh shoot, he's dead. Well, that's unfortunate. My boars are trying to eat the chests. Thankfully, they didn't. Oh, 
Uh, my boars seem to be um, glitching. <laughs> One of them was like going backwards. Why is it mad already? Did it, it didn't even get tamed. I think that that's probably a glitch. There we go. Oh yeah, so here's why I mean with like this escapability. So let's say I'm stuck like right here. If I just do, so like I can't move out. Okay, I can't move out. But if right here, see I um, it just pushes me through. It also means um, even if my pet gets like trapped by spikes, it can still escape. <laughs> so it's actually very useful, especially when there's raiders and they just want to kill your pet so you don't get any more XP. Uh, don't, don't steal, bro. Bruh. That's dumb. Oh well. This is why I strongly dislike the stone golem. Dude. Oh my gosh, my boar almost ate the chest. Come on, why does the dragon lose its focus so easily on other people when it, whereas it likes to chase me around the entire map? Oh, I okay, get the dragon died. Oh dear. Oh. I the ability was clutch. Otherwise, I'm fairly certain the dragon would try to eat my chests. Oh, like, is it going to eat it? No, it did not. Okay, good. Now, gotta be careful, because if this fire fairy does its ability as the tree boss hits, then I'm dead. Or very close to being dead. Trust me. It's happened a few times to me. It's always very annoying. Now with just a bee and two boars, and like daggers I can get about a million an hour. Um, if I had cleavers and then windmills, I could get something like 1.5 million an hour, which is um pretty decent, especially since Fennec Foxes, at least when I've used them, the max I've gotten is like 1.7, 1.8 million an hour. But I like boars better, because fennec foxes just have such low health. Another good reason to have spikes is just to take care of the annoying animals that spawn. If you don't have any way to take care of them, high scoring becomes a lot more annoying. Because then you have to deal with hordes and hordes of dragons just swarming you and eating all the chests. Yeah, the tree boss is really easy. It's actually, like the second easiest boss right after the Dark Trent, at least with my high scoring combo. Cause like the Spectrum's easy, but it, it spawns a ton of Spectrums, which is not ideal, cause they have like higher health than fairies. And they give less gold. Hey, dude, bro, this guy, at least I stole his fire fairy. Oh my gosh. I thought the ability was gonna hit me, but luckily I was able to get it in time. There we go, 700k. Aw oh, dang, there's not enough time for another boss. My poor bee! 
Let me take care of these people real quick. There we go, fairy trap. person dead. Both people dead. Dude. Oh, wow. Oh, it died. 